Hey Pokemon Champions, what's going on? It's Champion Darkblaze here, and the Pokemon Anime 2019 series is the newest installment of the Pokemon Anime series. And it's really good so far, like, I'm absolutely loving it. We're only about 20 episodes in or so at the time of making this video, and there is so much content packed into these 20 episodes. A lot of good animation, a lot of experiences between all the characters, and while it does have a lot of great aspects, there are some things that I wish could be a little bit better and that I hope get improved upon as we go further down in the line with this anime series. So I'm here to talk about what my personal thoughts are on the new anime so far. There's not a whole lot to judge, but there is just enough to have a solid opinion so far. So be sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the anime so far, and if you're enjoying it, and what changes you guys want to see as they get further in the anime. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. Without further ado, here's my thoughts on the Pokemon 2019 anime. Alright, I choose you! So starting off my discussion about the 2019 anime, I want to start with the characters. First off, let's start with Ash, our main protagonist like always. He is now the Alola region champion, winning the league after defeating Gladion and keeping that title after fighting Kukui. So Ash is a very strong trainer, and I'm liking his team so far that we have at the time of making this video. He's got Pikachu, Dragonite, Gengar, and Riolu. We speculate that he's probably gonna get Grookey, maybe even Sobble, maybe he'll get a Mega Lucario one day, we don't know. But I'm liking his team so far, I'm liking the comedy, I'm liking that he's still goofy and silly, and he's still got this unpredictable battle style, that hasn't changed. But what has changed, in my opinion, is that he is more knowledgeable about Pokemon battling, he's more in tune with the feelings of his Pokemon, and I think the big reason for that is not only his connection to Aura, as we've seen in the past and as we've seen with him catching Lucario, but I think the reason he's more in tune with battling, more in tune with his Pokemon, is due to the time he actually spent in the Alola region. Being there for three years according to how long the show ran, he was there for a long time and called the Alola region his second home. He actually didn't even want to leave the Alola region. Throughout the entire series, he always talked about feeling the energy of Alola, being one with his Pokemon. So that's further exemplified in the Pokemon 2019 anime. He's in tune with all of the Pokemon, Dragonite, Gengar, Riolu. All these Pokemon got added to his team because not only did the writers choose to do so and give us some fan service, that is very nice, but it's because he got a bond with them, a connection with them, so it's well deserved to have these strong Pokemon. And I'm liking that he's getting fully evolved Pokemon since he deserves them after being a champion, but what I don't like is that there may not be all the world for improvement for these fully evolved Pokemon. Riolu has the greatest opportunity to show character development and get stronger. But Dragonite and Gengar are already fully involved. We know Dragonite is a very huggable creature and it loves everyone. Gengar is very mischievous and a little silly, but we don't know if these Pokemon are going to be able to fully get a nice character arc in the anime. So that's just a concern I have about Ash's team. But what else I want to talk about is Go. Go is incredibly just fan service for all the Pokemon Go players, catching all the Pokemon and trying to complete the Pokedex. But what I like about Go is his inspiration to complete the Pokedex, because he wants to meet Mew, and that's kind of what I like. Mew has been a hot topic of discussion for countless years, ever since its introduction in the first original Pokemon games of Red and Blue. There's always been this shroud of mystery surrounding Mew in the topic of discussion. Not, not too much is actually known about Mew, so there's so much speculation about Mew and its nature and what its relevance is in the Pokemon world. So I just really hope that's explored more and that Go actually gets to capture Mew, or at the very least have a very personal interaction with Mew. I would like to see Go complete the Pokedex, I would like him to meet as many Pokemon as he can, and with the Pokemon anime now being centered in all the regions, traveling to them at various points in the anime, that gives Go the greatest opportunity to complete his Pokedex, to see all the Pokemon that he can. But what I don't like about Go at the very beginning is that he rejected Score Bunny because he wanted Mew to be his first Pokemon. He can be a little bit, a bit of a jerk sometimes, and I hope he grows out of that and be open to more experiences, be more willing to try new things, be able to go out and venture stuff and just try what he never thought he could do before. That's what I'm really hoping that Go will come to learn one day, because right now he seems to be more in his 
comfort zone, not really wanting to try new things. So that's what I'm hoping Go can do. Next up, talking about Koharu, I just really want her to freaking do something. I don't care what it is, I just want her to do something. I know she's shy, introverted, and keeps to herself, and that she has pressure from her peers to follow in the footsteps of her parents, but maybe, just maybe, she'll actually join Ash and Go on their adventures, and that's really what I'm hoping for. Right now, we only have a duo that we're following in anime, but let's get back to that nice original trio scheme we always have. I'm hoping Koharu will build a little team of maybe three Pokemon, and I'm hoping Go will expand his team as well. He's got a lot of Pokemon that he's caught, but can you add some to your team? Like, come on. And I also don't like the fact that Ash is actually keeping his Pokemon at the Sakuragi Institute instead of just keeping them on his belt like he normally does, or keeping them in his backpack. Like, why do you keep Dragonite and Gengar and even Riolu at the lab? All he brings around is Pikachu. I know the lab is basically right down the street and that they live there, but I just think he should personally be keeping his team on him. Another personal thought that I have is that I actually love what the anime is doing in terms of bringing back older characters. So far we've only seen Lance, but at the time of making this video, Karina is also supposed to come back. So I'm liking this potential possibility for many more characters to come back, whether that's Paul, Alan, Gary, or even other Elite Four members such as Flint or Karen. There's all the possibility in the world for other characters to come back, and that's what I'm hoping for. The animation, of course, absolutely amazing. The animation is top 10. I love the art style. The art style feels like a nice, solid mix between X and Y and Sun and Moon. Or even a mix between Sun and Moon and the art style from the newer Pokemon movies, such as The Power of Us or I Choose You. It's a very nice upgrade from the rather bland art style, the smoother, softer, kiddish art style of Sun and Moon, and I think this is a nice upgrade to that. And what I'm especially loving is the focus on seeing who is the strongest trainer of all time in the Pokemon 2019 anime. We have the Pokemon World Championships. The strongest trainers from Kanto to Galar are coming into one stadium, one final location to see who actually is the strongest trainer. Now in the anime so far we have seen that Leon is currently the strongest trainer in the entire Pokemon world. And Lance was battling him, which this would make Lance essentially the second strongest trainer in the Pokemon world. Where does Ash rank with that? Well, at the time of this video, he's near a thousandth place, which means he's still in tier 4 and has to work up to tier 1, the Master League, in order to be known as one of the absolute strongest. I mean, right now he's doing pretty good. He's near the 1,000 mark out of the 10,000 that enter the tournament. So I can't wait to see how Ash's team progresses him through this tournament, how he gets stronger. And I'm looking very hopefully that he will start developing new battle tactics. Now he's very unpredictable so he's making battle tactics all the time, but what I mean by a specific battle tactic is something like Spin from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl or Counter Shield, one of his best strategies he's ever made and one of my favorites. So I'm hoping things like this end up returning in the Pokemon 2019 anime. Now a negative that I really want to mention about the 2019 anime is the fact that this freaking 2019 anime, the Sword and Shield anime mind you, is set in the Kanto region. This is why people are sick of the Kanto region, we are constantly going back to it. I'm not sick of Kanto, but I'm starting to because I thought this new anime was going to be set in all the other regions. We'd constantly be going to Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, Kalos, Alola, Galar. And this is the Sword and Shield anime. We should be in Galar especially. We've had a handful of episodes in Galar, not as many as we should. And on top of it, they're not even exploring the Kanto region. They're stuck in Vermilion City. Like, are you kidding me? Can you go anywhere else? Can you go visit Misty in Cerulean City? Brock in Pewter City? Can you freaking just go to the Indigo Plateau for some odd reason? No, they stay in Vermilion City at the Sakuragi Institute. I mean, the emphasis on Vermilion City is nice, but it's just, for lack of a better term, uninteresting and boring. When we were all getting introduced to the 2019 anime, we were all excited about the premise of this anime being set in all the other regions to really connect the Pokemon world a lot more. But no, now we're just stuck in Vermilion City and we don't do anything there. This is no better than being stuck on Mele Mele Island for nearly 30 episodes in Season 1 of Sun and Moon, where barely anything got done. God, it's just so freaking annoying. So that's just 
one big issue. That's my main big issue that I have with the Pokemon 2019 anime is that we're not going anywhere. So I just hope that when we get to the later seasons of this anime that we get more exploratory of episodes going to Sinnoh, Unova, Galar especially. Can we go to Galar, the region that we are all playing through right now in Sword and Shield? But I do have hope for this anime that we'll get more episodes in Galar when the summer comes. And side note, when Karina comes back, I think that battle with Karina is going to take place in the Kalos region, because Kalos is next in line to be visited in this anime, as we've already been to Unova and all the others. But I do believe in the summer, when the Sword and Shield expansion pass comes out, that we're going to get more episodes focused in Galar. Maybe they'll get a research assignment, and if they go to Isle of Armor, they gotta go to Crown Tundra. We don't know for sure what's going to happen, the anime only gives us so many episodes so far in advance to look at and analyze, but I'm hopeful that we'll get more episodes in Galar come the summer. So there we go Pokemon Champions, those are all of my thoughts about the Pokemon Sword and Shield anime so far. Overall, I'm really enjoying it, I'm enjoying it a lot more than Sun and Moon and maybe even more than X and Y when it first started. This anime has all the potential in the world to be the best installment of the Pokemon anime that we've seen so far. But of course, these are just my thoughts and all of my opinions about the anime so far. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Are you enjoying it? Does it have room to get better? Does it flat out suck, for lack of a better term? Let me know that down in the comments below, and I'd love to chat with you. And remember, train hard Pokemon champions. I'll catch you guys later.